Yes, it is me, Market Vendor here again today. So listen, I'm talking to my Trini friends today. Listen, y'all got back and all down there, boy. I watched an interview there, so with Gary Griffith. Oh my goodness gracious. So look, the former commissioner of police and the prime minister, the two of them going at it, you know, bang, 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 back and all in the place, boy. Prime Minister said the worst mistake, the worst mistake that he ever made was in appointing Gary Griffith as the commissioner of police. And not to be outdone, Gary Griffith firing back at the prime minister and saying the worst decision that Trinidad and Tobago ever made was to elect Keith Rowley as the prime minister of Trinidad and Tobago. Look at Bacchanal in the place who lost. Let me tell you something. It's Bacchanal you want, it's Bacchanal you can get. Gary Griffith said that he scored the highest back in 2018 when they had the interviews for the commissioner of police, that he had the highest score of all of them. Iman also claimed that he reduced crime significantly and that the murder rate dropped dramatically under his leadership. You see me, market vendor. Now, I would have to ask the question. If, in fact, a man's record over three years was as impressive as Gary Griffith says that his record is, why would he not be reappointed and given another term? Did he, as he said, mash on somebody's corns? Uh, and therefore, that is why he is not wanted in the position anymore. I don't know. You hear a lot of talk about gun licenses and so on, but he addressed that during his address too as well. Oh, lost. And now he running as a politician. In the constituency of the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago down in Diego Martin. Not Diego Martin as some people would call it. <laughs> you see Bacchanal boy, let me tell you. It is clear that there is no love lost between the two of them. But I would have to say this to Mr. Griffith. You know, you are a fellow that I admired from this distance. Now, you see me market vendor. I know that some Caribbean countries would take you with open arms. They a question about that, you know. Uh, the same way how some people say, well, here in a beige boy, we would like to borrow me a motley, huh? Oh, gosh, man, let me get me a motley down here, huh? No, I ain't getting into which country this is. Don't mind that little accent thing that I put on there because there's plenty of people all over the Caribbean tell me that them admire Mia Amor Motley and they would like to have her as their prime minister and their leader, huh? But you see me market vendor, we can't really lend her out because we need her here too because we got a lot of work here to do too as well. And the work ain't done it. Far from done. <laughs> but in the same way that some of y'all would like me a motley as your prime minister and your leader, we would also like to have a Gar fellow like Gary Griffith in other parts of the Caribbean, including Barbados too as well. Yes. So I don't understand what it is that Mr. Griffith did or didn't do that makes him persona non grata when it comes to the position of the being the commissioner of police in Trinidad and Tobago. And now he is going to become a politician or last. So he's going to be a thorn in somebody's side too as well and he run it against the Prime Minister. Talk about the battle royal that is going to be going on when the election bell is ring, balang, balang, balang in Trinidad and Tobago. Oh, loss. Gary Griffith against Keith Rowley. That can be something else now. Mr. Rowley got he ammunition and Mr. Griffith got he ammunition too as well. Not the kind that the criminal is using. And Gary Griffith met the point that the, since he has left the position of commissioner of police, that the increase in murders in Trinidad and Tobago gone up by about a hundred percent. Well, well, well. Does he have a case? And the, and in fact, he also made the point that a survey showed that 89% of the people of Trinidad and Tobago wanted him to be reappointed as commissioner of police. Well, if he was doing a good job, what it is that would cause you not to give him the position a second time around? As the fellows would say, the mind boggles. But I am not in the mind of the leader or those who make the decision. I am only a market vendor. <laughs> And I am minding my business. Well, maybe not my business, but anyhow, we is all Caribbean people. Mark it gone for now. You have a blessed and a wonderful day. More to be coming from this here. That's only chapter one. <laughs>